you want to attract a high quality lady, you need to be confident in yourself. You should be bold. A man needs to be bold. Mostly, first, we, we used to say that a man needs to be uh, to be fearful, um, ugly, and if possible, having order. <laughs> having a body order. You see, I'm going to explain these three uh, these three things. Be fearful. Should be ugly. Should be having at least maybe can even have a body order you see if we talk about somebody who is fearful it means you are fearless you go for what you want you don't beat about the bush you believe in yourself you see when somebody who is confident is walking about a man who is confident is going about his duties you recognize that this is a confident person he does not care who is watching he does not care whatever is going on he does what he's supposed to do and he walks away you go to church you meet those guys who are confident in them in and of themselves they know when to contribute to discussions at church when they're having bible conversations they are la they contribute and they don't let anybody to push them over they are not wishy-washy wishy-washy me meaning they want this they don't want that they, they are confused they just don't know what they want in life no a confident person knows what he wants what he wants what she wants in life and goes for it he's clear about his tension to you that is a confident what man you are bold you can walk straight to a lady and propose to her not the one that will tell a brother a junior brother not the one that will be buying gifts giving a, a lady gift over two years and expecting the lady to know that i'm in love with you no a confident man will not say that a confident man is going to tell you what he wants and what he expects from that relationship if you agree to his terms jackpot he has won you continue but if you don't agree to his terms as a lady if the lady does not agree to your terms you walk off no hard feelings yes you don't go about spreading false rumors i dated her i did this to her i did this to that that is wrong if you're a gentleman and you do that that is wrong you don't kiss and tell a gentleman does not kiss and tell the same thing applies to ladies a lady does not kiss and tell so if you have dated somebody before whatever transfer between the two of you when that relationship and is sealed you don't go about telling them many times you say the person how you kiss the person how even the person mourn in bed how naughty the person is how dirty the person and this are you don't do that a gentleman does not kiss and tell a lady does not kiss and tell so the first thing you have to do as a gentleman to attract the attention of a high quality lady is to be confident in yourself be confident in yourself so be confident and the confidence appears in how you even how you even carry yourself how you go about your things will tell us that you are confident or you are not confident don't hide around your friends don't hide around your peers be confident be bold you are handsome enough the thing is if somebody is handsome than you you are also handsome than somebody and that is the word so like who you are, accept who you are, and be confident. The second thing we are touching on is how you dress. How you dress is very important if you want to attract the attention of a high quality guy. You can't dress just anyhow, mess colors, and just want me to get attracted to you. No, it doesn't work that way. Women, ladies, are attracted by sight. Yes. So nice things. I'm not saying that you should overdress, you should wear the trendiest clothes, you should be very fashionable with all the three pieces you set, with your um, necktie matching your shoes, your belt, and all those fashion rules that we, they bombard us with. Not that, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you should dress well. If you are going for casual, let it be casual, and needs casual. You are wearing lame. Lean dress and you know that lean you need the lean spray right you use the lean spray on it you have you link the lean spray you spray it with the lean um the spray you iron it put it at where it's supposed to be the iron is having regulator so where the lean is lean cotton slick so put it where the lean is and lean is very hot the session is very hot so you iron it iron it well you wear it with your pants you wear with your um your your pants your 
um, Nika, whatever, then that is nice. Be mindful of what you wear. You don't, as I said, you don't wear lean, you don't iron it. When you iron it, no lean spray, and it's becoming so soft. No, that is a big no. Even the confidence that you are, if you approach the lady, lady, the lady is going to use your dress to assess you. The lady can't ask you how much money you have in your wallet, how much money you have in your bank account. Maybe the latest car that you are driving is parked in the car park and you enter the facility so she can't assess you based on that. But her first impression is how you have dressed, how you carry yourself. The boots that you wear, be conscious about it. Is it dirty? Is it clean? Your boots, the um, sole and that sole behind the edges is white. But they are turned into what? Cream. You see, a lot of things put ladies off. So the shoes that you wear, take time to polish it. Mm -hmm. If alignment are china, compare talk, uh, talk, uh, you shoot, uh, talking, put the talking there. And they're talking not the loud ones, the metal ones that you'll be walking and you'll be boom cha, boom, 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 cha, boom, cha, boom, cha. It should be the crochet and crochet. No. When you walk, it should be silent. Your walking should be silent. We should not hear your footstep. Bang, 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 bang. You are not so heavy to be having that huge footstep marks what going when you walk. So your dressing, you should be careful what you wear. And your hairstyle. Your hairstyle is best that as a gentleman, every two weeks you go to the barbering shop. Yes, every two weeks go to the barbering shop. You go for trimming. Even if you have beer, trim it. You see, some people you meet them, they are beer, they have no trim it. All these places, small, small ones, and no, trim it every two weeks. Go to the barbering salon. Yes, barber's um, shop or salon, whatever. Trim it. Trim your hair, trim it. Don't leave your hair to be bushy. You are not Father Abraham crying out loud. So trim it. If you want to breed your hair, you are into whatever, make sure that it's always neat. The same way that guys don't like ladies who hair styles are not neat, are not kept well, they are a bit too strange. The same thing appears to ladies too. So go and have a clean cut. That beard, yes, some ladies love that huge beard men wear and all that. But it's best if you trim it and take care of it. No, trim it. Trim it. And you see, ladies, as I said on the other show, ladies are particular. We are more particular about a lot of things. So you just start talking to her. She has assessed you from head to toe. Yes, your confidence level is okay, you are bold, you are able to walk up to her to strike a conversation with her. But the dressing that, the clothes that you are wearing, it's kind of wear off. How can you wear a sport jersey, a club jersey, eh, with material trout? Hey, you know, certain things, the person can like, hey, what kind of life are you living? At least it must go with jeans or khaki pants. Then it's cool. So you must know what to wear. If we're wearing casual, let it be casual. If we're just wearing a khaki pants, then you have jacket on it. It's cool. If it's a long sleeves, you know that it's a long sleeve. If you are folding it, you fold it clean. And when I talk about dressing too, I'm talking also about you take care of your body you take care of your body, the sense. You see, sometimes you meet some guys and they are close to you. You want to uh, inhale. Ah, he's having a nice perfume. So you don't mind if the person starts having a conversation with you because he's having a nice perfume. But you have heard that a man should be ugly, should be fearful, and if possible, smelly. So you are smelling and all that you are not having a good sense you see the lady will talk to you once when she'll be like no i can't give you my number no or she'll give you a wrong line mostly some can tell you that they don't want to give you um a red, they don't want to give you their number they can't be blunt and go like that so they'll just give you a fake line you try 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 the number is not going through or they tell you oh, give me yours i'll call you that means I'm just throwing it in the bin. I just leave you, I delete that number. What the hell? You smell, Papa. 
the person can't even hug you. So you must take care of the scent of your perfume. And I always say that if you can't buy expensive perfume, it's okay. Buy ones that goes with you. You see, most for ladies, we talk about the fruit base. Yes, the fruit base, the strawberry, the banana flavors. We talk about the fruit base um, perfumes. But when you talk about fruit base and all that, those scented ones. But for men, it's muscular when you use the um, plants, you use like wood scent, you look, you use the um, ocean, right? The ocean one, you use the earth one, right? The ones that even smell like you are just coming from the bathroom, you just showered. Those sprays, those body splash, right? It, it does magic with you. Personally, if you have a nice body splash on you, it's far more important than using the Gucci, the Prada, expensive shamis on yourself. Yes, so try that one. So take off your dressing, take off the kind of perfume you use, and you must dress well for wherever you are going to. You are going to church, so dress appropriately. You are going to a night event, dress appropriately. You are going to a business um, summit, you should dress appropriately. It's just a casual day. You are just going to roll in the mall. You can just wear your nikai, your knickers, your um, club tee, your v-neck um, shirts, the one, the Lacoste one too. Yes, with your loafer, you 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 look what fashionable. Well, you you look what trendy. It doesn't mean that you spend more of your money, chunk of your money in fashion. But you need to know what works for you and do it more. So you should be confident about yourself and your dressing should your dressing tone should be in point if you want to attract the right kind of guy. Yes, you see, as you are confident. The, it, to be confident even the way you dress the kind of dress that you wear will boost even your confidence so when you take time to dress well this is the general truth when you take time to dress well you are going to work you are going to church the day that you spend time to dress your hairstyle is on point you have trim you are having nice clothes so you know that it matches everything your show me is cool you feel good about yourself you know that even if i meet my worst classmates Yes, our classmate. If I miss, if if I meet my worst classmate who is very inquisitive, the gossip who will never leave you alone, they are making it and they don't want to leave some of us alone. If you meet them at any event, you know that child. This they have killed it. Yes, you should learn to dress that, and the better your dressing now, the more confident you are. That is true. The more you're dressing, you you are your dressing is okay. The more confident you are. But if you wear certain attacks and you realize that it's not so good, whenever you move you move around, you feel like oh people are watching me. People are watching me. You tend to watch over your back. You are not so comfortable. So be careful. Know what you wear and what works for you. I'm not saying you should follow the latest fashion in town. No. What I'm saying is know what works for you. Then. Let's come back to the actual thing. Now, I'm telling you as a lady, Councillor Perfect, I'm telling you as a lady, what attract what as, and I'm talking about what attract a high quality what? Lady, most of times people say that this foolish boy cry, look at the nice girl she's um, dating. This Casanova, look at the type of girls that are always falling into um, um, his laps. Ah, this is good for nothing guy. He's a bad boy, but the ladies are following him. Me, I'm a good boy, but the ladies does not treat me. I'm a church guy. I'm a decent guy. I'm the cool type. But the ladies does not even... I date them one, two, three. They are running away from me. Even if I want to propose to them, they'll tell you that me, they, you look like my brother. I've taken you as my brother. Name I'm about to say. I've taken you as my brother, and they'll be giving you some funny, 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 funny excuses. You see? The thing is, you are chasing the woman wrongly. You are chasing the woman wrongly. Mostly we say that the ladies, when I was talking the other time, I told them that and if you want to attract the desired guy of yours, don't chase him. Rather, make him chase you. There are certain things you do and the guy will chase you around. 
tease him to chase you. That is what we learned. So please, if I've not listened to that, listen to that on my previous um, discussion, the Saturday night show. You should tease the man to chase you. The same thing applies to men if we want to attract the attention of a lady. After you being confident, you dressing well, doing the casual, the corporate and everything, you not mixing it with well, shoe alignment, away, mm -hmm. with you lean, you are wearing a lean shirt, you are not, you don't even use lean spray, you just iron it just anyhow and wear and all that. What I'm saying is, don't chase her. No matter how beautiful she is, no matter how logolege you are feeling, no matter the A shape that she is having, and you think a friend of yours is going to take her away, don't chase her. Yes, don't chase her. You see, as I said earlier on, I said ladies like to be chased. The same thing applies. Um, men like men don't like to be chased, right? So allow the men to chase you. Ask that of how to attract a high quality man the same thing applies to the ladies if you want a lady so much don't chase her rather tease her and let her chase you how do you do that you see let's take example you go into a party you have ladies two ladies sitting drinking they are um drinking whatever they are doing and you have another set of ladies let's three or four they have group of ladies so let's take you have three groups of ladies in an event and you want to attract you have one particular girl you want right what you have to do is don't go straight to her being all bossy my lady how's your name can i have your number and all that no don't do that the best thing you have to do to attract a lady's attention all these three group, groups when you enter say hi are you having a nice time? They respond, yes, nice time. You go to the second table, hi, how are you? Are you having a nice time? They respond. Go to the third table, repeat the same question. Are you having a nice time? Yes, you're having a nice time. And exclude yourself. You can talk to your guys, but talk to your guy, the guy that you came with. Just be there drinking and smiling. Yes, smile, laugh. Just don't mind them ignore them by your mind i uh, have said that i'm waiting for them to come around and as the two they are there they'll be discussing uh, is seen the owner of this facility does the uh, um is it, it, what he he what is he doing here is he an important person because you just don't go to your party and you are just a nobody walk up to me and ask a group of girls are you enjoying yourself it means you are connected to the big person organizing the party or maybe the house belongs to you maybe the facility that they are organizing the event belongs to you you see as you start laughing and all that make an excuse yes go to their table and ask them do you care for more the one that you like just use this principle the one that you like go and ask her do you do you care for more you see how much don't ask the girl ask the next person to sit into her do you care that much the one that you like will start responding yes because you have introduced what a competition ladies like competition so if you want to attract any lady what i'm telling you is don't chase it but rather introduce a competition that is why if you want me you come to propose to me and I told you, like, I'm thinking about it, me cry, I don't want you. Then I go and tell my roommate, I can't remember in the university, this guy, I don't want him, cry. Mm, he's not my class, Charlie, I don't want him. You say all those things. Then that guy say you don't like and whatever, start visiting your room, visiting your friend. And you will come and you know investing most of the ladies they don't like to cook i said most of the ladies don't like to cook i've not included myself most of the ladies don't like to cook and you are there after lectures you are tired since 30 this guy comes with um just simple watching in a pack to visit your friend and just oh how are you is everything okay how was lectures today they will just chit chat and he will just go not even five minutes he will go Come the second day, and this girl will not pay even attention to you. I know ya. I she pop 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 pop. Even sometimes you don't want to date the person because of what he's doing. You just say, hey. So the next time you tell him, you told him that 
he should come one week later. Okay, I won't try my one week name, but a do fifth week. And I guess, oh, yeah, I finished thinking about it. And let's continue have a relationship. Let, 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 let's be in a relationship. You understand? Because he has introduced that conversation. So if you want to talk to a high quality what girl and she's having close friends, sisters, rather befriend that sister. If you befriend that sister, you are close to them, you chit chat, you call them, and she that you want, you are not responding to her and all that. You see that she would rather be on one side in the Yes. So if you go ahead and pay attention to the lady so much, or be powerful, or say, hey, now we'll cry here. That is why the bad boys get to win the hearts of some of the ladies. So may you be from I'm not part. The man was tend to win the heart of some of what the ladies are married. So me, I'm off. Some of the ladies, you understand? I'm a Hagen. He says that competition hurts. Yes, and he said that very, very true. Yeah, very true. Yes, competition. If you introduce that competition, whatever you ask, right? She's willing to do it and do more because she doesn't want the other girl to get your attention. She doesn't want the other you to go to the other girls. That is why you see that all those bad boys that you see around getting the good girls because the bad boy is dating about for us to you. He's dating about one, two people and the one, two people, how they are, how they dress, how they carry themselves. Hey, so when he comes down to propose, you say, hey, with all these girls that he's roaming around, I'm the one that he loves. I'm the one that he's showing up. I'm the one that is this. So when the guy decides not to mind you because you are toasting him, talking to the other ladies, laughing and jesting with them, you feel like you need to respond or else these ladies are going to take him away, their attention away. So introduce what? A competition don't chase her ladies never take men who chase them serious unless they are around 28 um 30 35 34 they're about they are seriously getting married want to get married because some young girls 24 are getting married and she is there so when you chase her I bet she's going to give in kevin but most ladies even their 30s when you chase them a lot, they don't. And it's a sad sir, story and almost say, by a mean box it to me, to me, to me, box it to me and to me and to me. Don't get some mean to no no and you too no to me to me to me no no be and to no. You get it. That is how human we are, that is our psychology. Things that are handed to us freely, we don't respect it. But things that we work and get, that is what we respect. So introduce the competition if you want a high quality lady, introduce the competition, but be confident in on in and of yourself. The girl is very beautiful. She's educated. How she carries herself. Would you say me you'll be a how can I get her? You just do this. Be confident. Dress well. Or baby or what? And you will scroll up. You dress well. You smell nice. And how you smile. What do you understand? Get a nice toothpaste. And this whitening teeth. Come on, come on. So when you come around, how you smile? Trim. I said every two weeks go to the salon as a man. Trim. What trimming with tini now? Come on, your beard, beard, beard. What trimming now? Come on. You are neat. If it's lean and you're lean, bo 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 bo. Lean contumbri. Lean edge now. Come on, don't suffer so quick, bitch. Nice lean. If it's uh, khaki pants, wash it. If it's um, jeans, wash it. And ladies like men who are casual more because to us. Mostly, you, know, you see those in suits and everything like they are too stereotype, they are too stiff, they are too rigid. But if you see a man in his khaki pants, well dressed man with his um, t shirt, polo shirt, and everything with nice, smelly, and loafers and all that, or be the bell boss, wow, you are like, wow. Jackpot because rich people dress that way. You don't see rich always in their suit, three pieces suits, and all that. No, those making money, they always cash what they are taking life what on a down low. So you get it. So dress that way and don't chase the lady, rather, introduce competition to her. Introduce competition. And my name, yes, sir, would you? You don't have anybody in your life. <laughs> Rachel Lampier Boy, she says, Chai. Wow, <laughs> Jennifer Christian, thanks for watching. Um, you see, introduce that what competition, introduce it. 
Don't lady, don't let the lady always say that you are head over heels. With your day be our friend in 207 and a proper friend, a real best friend. If you continue doing that, you want to attract her attention. She will not be attention to you. She is going to friendship zone you. And you know that thing, most guys don't like it. I want to have a relationship with you. Me pal, but you have friendship zone me. You are treating me as a friend. You are treating me as a brother. Me couple, we are saying, when I propose love to you, then the ladies will tend to tell the guys that, oh, but you have taken you as my, as my brother. I've taken you as my brother in Christ. Oh, you are my friend. How can I date my friend? You understand? It's because you are performing those duties. Things that you are not supposed to do. Stop calling her. Book friend in Bebreba, it's not good. And stop scheduling the time that you call. Women like spontaneous things, things that are spontaneous. So when you call her in the morning, every day, 7 o'clock, she knows that you are going to call. Every 7 o'clock, you are going to call. Ladies don't like side things. So be spontaneous about it. You can call her 7.30, 7.15, you can call her 8. Sometimes forget about it. Forget and see if she's going to call you back. So if you, if you want to attract the attention of a lady a high quality lady these are some of the things you have to do then you must show your love and tell your love show your love if you want to attract the attention of a lady show your love and tell your love if i say show you show your love you see give her gifts yes you must oil the wheels of customers dress them cracker and so when someone mra, we di nyan ohine eni adum eni adum. It was so no man. So when you mra, Mister Strong Hands, Mister Armstrong, man when someone eni mra. You see, if you are able to give them what small small gifts. I'm not talking about what to car can see. Be man, won't mean to car. As I say, cramp won't be now for to car movie. But at least. That chocolate, bar of chocolate, a mape chocolate, that bar of chocolate, it even symbolizes what love. That bar of chocolate, what ha, tokomano. Gana de yonko to flowers in komo bao, yen flowers in yon fancy ti yen. Iti to chocolate, e komano. Owe jumo once in a blue moon, what to pizza. Why ya order pizza, e di a komano. She so owe jume, bem bem e bi ope o. Na owe jume, me ria bo around 12 to 1, lunch break. Now, when pizza delivery guy, now but pizza delivery guy, I'm not oh, I have a parcel for you. Now, Abba, I'll share you the pizza, abro. Pizza won't your family size. On one can or two man, one can or two man only na down for into what a small size. Now, what some say they um sell soft drink CB. Eddie account with some more farm brand. Sad ano, ne do more for money na kabe kaso on penis so much. Hey, wow, hey, so where, where is it? Where is it? No more babesh. Nejuma for man or crown on the almost soon. It was a hey, this guy, your power pill. A book of it's like coming, send me no be pen me and come up. Pin a storm and a da da da. So your gestures also matter if you love somebody. Show it, show your love. And your marketing kit, you know, when you pay transportation with them, pay. Who penny per crono? What's the air? One person of a book as a one penny swan and my book. Hey, what need a pacona for car? You not pay for the fare, you expect the lady to pay hers, you also pay yours. And don't always look cheap. Show your love doesn't mean she look cheap. When you be out for trotro, come on trotro. One city will be so bad, no say, hey, Missy Castle, who be your one city, who be your two cities near the Tiacano. Face the carcass and farmer mate, no, no mate, no more person. On pencils and on fine can in the mouth, rather than you asking your lady to get or two CDs to give to the maid because you don't have change. No, don't do that. Ladies interpret it like this guy is stingy, and a stingy guy, no lady wants it because you can't take care of me. Yes, so show your love in the little things. And your friend, some guys they will be calling you 24 7, but they will not give anything. No. Give when someone yam re, when some yam rain, when your bapa, when some yam ra, and in ya when ya or ban your yam for the witchy. No one when someone yam yam re, or baby or noon himself, no so cry, no worry, I touch her, no back of her. So in your pen, when someone yam re, and then I dare no cry about with ye, I want you both ye, and to see a and I will see a demawa. Then tell your love. Some guys can be giving gifts to ladies, they'll be giving gifts to ladies. First year, one year, two years, without telling them I love you.
but you know that you love the person. Bra, so who could share maybe a eh? Who could share me maybe a me and man be me say so? Who bet me a chamade ten years? No, be a one can't share me when I was single. Who patch a madia ten years? Who be a one can't share me so open me? My father said, Pen or Pen Massem Pen or Pen Massem, no person will yam me papa. A radis me and Jai Adroyeda. In Tabriana, I will yam a woman whom he said, Media, who deny him who projects no yam, my Say, pa, they make a major or my dream, say, open me, dear. It will never happen. Some ladies are like that. Obi, the baby saw, say, Nyama, would the mommy now, and then I will pay. But some people, they will never ask you, they will not ask you. So, my dear, as you are showing your uh, love by items, by gifts, and the small, small things, taking the person out, picking a straw, in any Nyanisika, then I say, Nyanisika, sometimes you can pick a straw with the person. You can pick a straw. You can go for what um, lunch time. You can go for dinner. You can go to a restaurant and eat. If you any place back where you say ah, when you take twenty cities, thirty cities, who bet me your bar ne pay? Where did it come out? Where did it come out? Where did it come out? Eh, pan eh, more bar on a dream ya me wo hu. So ni mso oh, be me si no si fa tiye, si no si fa ya ni ni amendi. When I move with him, it will be okay. I'm talking about high quality what lady. She's also coming in to, to what? She's coming in to compliment you. On by maybe diwa. So you must at least give something. Tell your love. Don't think the gift you are giving to the lady. The lady should be able to, de to deduce that it's love that you are telling her. It's love that you are telling her love in those things. No. Open your mouth and say, you see, mostly our culture has made most men not to be emotional, not to show their emotions. I always say that men have emotions. They have deep rooted love. That is how men are. Men have that deep love. Into your banner, we need to be maybe a draw pants or some masia. And then the next day, we ask him, "How many women are planning to fuck up?" Because the man is just there for you, no matter what. The man is having that solid love. To who do obia be a one on a catcher no? A man ye kakai. There be. But before you tell the lady that you love her, you must have what? Your confidence is in check. Your dressing is in check. The dressing is everybody from head to toe. The body splash, the perfume and everything is in check. You don't chase her. You understand? You, you have introduced that competition. And when you pick her, ask the one that you want to date. If you single her out from the competition, you show her love. Yes, show her love through your gestures and everything and let her feel your emotion. You see, if I'm with you and I don't feel your emotion, you just tell me I love you, but I don't feel any emotion attached to it. Women, we are very emotional and we read a lot into the meanings that you do. So when I see even how you hug me, you just hug the person and you just, oh, no, how you hug me and you take your time as if you, you, you want to, Hold me for a long time. It's like wow. Make an say young woman. Yes, hugging keke. That's how you hug the person. You keep the person in your embrace for five minutes. Push me to the top on the wings of the for five minutes. You keep the person in your embrace for five minutes. You having that hug with the person. Probably feels like wow, this person thinks about me. This person really cares about me. You understand show your emotions when you visit her maybe things are not going on well with you right tell her don't hold everything in like you are the macho 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 types no you push me to the top. let her what feel your what emotion that is what a sure way to go and women also like men to attract the lady of your to how to attract the attention of a lady to attract the attention women also want men who are daring who are risk takers who take risk who go who, who go for it right they know that you are with your boys and all that you are shy and all that but you go for it you chase them you chase them you go for it you tell them what what you really want you push me to the top 
you tell them what you really want that is what helps right that really helps so you should be daring you should be a risk what taker you should want sometimes when she visits you and like you want to hug and she'll be saying no don't hug me and all that you just draw her into your embrace you realize that when you hug her she's feeling that mm, i like it you get it she'll be even just turning her neck and, and all that meaning that she even wants what more from you and you see this is the point that most people say that when a lady says no it's not no it's maybe a yes so you force yourself on a woman no don't ever force yourself on a woman but you should be daring daring is take risk yes let her know that you are in for it you are ready for whatever comes next so if i'm dating you right if you, you, you want me and i realize that this man is daring this man goes for it this man is what uh, he's having dreams he's having ambitions right he wants to go far you see that you might not have anything but the lady buys into your idea the lady is willing right to make things work the lady is willing to join what your team so if you want to attract a high quality guy these are some of the things that you have to do the reason why most girls don't like church store crave and the good boys don't um the the, the good girls end up with the bad boys and the good girl good uh, good men good guys not getting the women that they want is they lack confidence they lack confidence they don't dress well they don't introduce competition if they like yeah they will chase yeah every day going to the house going to the farm going to everything buying gifts and all that and the man who never bought even one penny for the lady comes around and to win a hat and take it away so if you want to attract the attention of a lady be confident in yourself so you want you know that I want to I, I want Alice Alice is who I want to be with so you are confident practice it how you talk how you carry yourself you are not pushed down when you are having conversation with people you also say your mind you understand if you need to stand up for yourself stand up for yourself because I always say that if you can't stand up for others you must at least learn to stand up for yourself you must learn to defend yourself so you stand up for what you believe in your principles your standard in life your set of what integrity it's huge people have confidence have all these things what embedded in them and you dress well I've hint on the dressing more so you have to dress well the little that you have know how to combine it I'm saying that it's not you about being the fashionista being so trendy no but know what works for you and know what to do don't wear too tight clothes oversized um, coats and no use colors that work for you and most guys like the earth colors the blue the green forest colors the earth brown colors it works it, it works with most what color tones so know how to and you must do more casual than the corporate casual makes ladies comfortable in your presence and you must be open you must be smart that's one thing you say if you want to attract a high quality lady now the ladies also want men who are smart who have a sense of what humor so you must be smart somebody who smart means you must be intelligent whenever they are talking about politics you have something meaningful to say not that you are just one partisan politics no 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 you have some something meaningful to say about both issues you are not so petty and partisan about issues you are somebody who is a deep thinker you see you meet some people you realize that they are very deep right what even you are talking about, they bring a new perspective to it, a new light to it, a new tone to it, and you feel like, wow, this is what I, I, I'm looking for. So, be that. Just have some, be smart, whatever you are into. Have a broad perspective about things. Because nowadays, most ladies are very intelligent. And if you don't take care, they will corner you with some question you find it very difficult to answer. And you must have your courtesy on point. Don't ask certain questions. Questions that will make the person feel bad about him or herself, about her relationship, about her culture, about 
can try. Don't ask those questions. But it's best you ask what's leading questions. You have singled the person out. Now you have taken the person on a date. Ask a leading question. Questions that the person is going to what? Answer more. Then the conversation not, does not become one-sided. And what you have to know is, if you attract the lady to, let everything be about her. Speak less about you and let the lady talk. Yes, it's not about you. So let the lady talk. The more she talks to you, the more she opens up to you. That's where you get to know lots about her to make that um, final conclusion. That do I, do I want to shoot my shot? Do I have to tell this girl that I love her? Can I be with her? But if you don't talk to her, if she doesn't open up to you, you can ask her, so what do you think about the latest tax that the government has introduced? A high quality lady is going to tell you a lot. So you pick from what she's saying, if she's that intelligent, if she's that for you. You understand, you can ask about religion, right? Religious beliefs. You can ask about certain things that is going to make her to talk more. General topics, then she'll pour more to you. And one thing is, ladies always want a deep-rooted guy. That is a guy that is having a form of godliness. Yes, if you're a Muslim, you have that godliness in you. If you're a Christian, you have that God-fearing godliness in you. Because most ladies believe that if the person is having that godliness, I'm not saying a Christian, a churchgoer, no. I'm talking about a believer, somebody who, who is having that knowledge about Christ right the salvation knowledge about the saving grace of god the salvation knowledge about christ that person loves god everything he says you realize that this person loves jesus so if you love god you are not going to treat me well you are not going to sorry you are not going to treat me bad you are going to do things that are what right things that are going to help what hurt what grow forward so if you want to attract the attention of a lady the point we discussed today is be confident take care of your dressing and your order body um get a nice body scent we also talk about don't chase it that is introduce a competition rather and let the competition draw her to you when she get drawn to you show her love and tell your love show your love is you giving her gifts gestures and all that small small gifts um when she's back from work and she's tired you massage her leg for her all those things to show that you love her and open your mouth to say it tell her you love her and some ladies want it more so you must what it should not be a daily thing a guy that always say i love you i love you i love you sometimes you just take them for granted so you must learn how to say i love you but not always when it's the mood is set for I love you, say I love you. And you can say it out of the blues to her to show that you really love her and you really care for her. Then we also say that be daring. A daring man is somebody who takes what? The bold step. A daring man is somebody who takes what? Control. Not always. You don't leave things in the hands of the ladies. Some of the ladies, if you leave things in their hands, I bet you 100 years cry you still be chasing them because they just enjoy what they chase. So be daring about whatever you want to do. If you want to chase it, be daring about it. Be a risk taker and let your integrity, let your integrity what shows. Let the God-fearing nature of yours also shows. Next week, we are going to discuss about temperament. Yes, temperament, the various temperament that we have, the melancholy, the sanguine, the choleric, the phlegmatic. Then we talk about the introvert, the extrovert. We talk about the supine. Yes, it's strange to you. It's strange to you, right? The supine temperament, we are going to discuss it and how this temperament, what their relationship, what their strength and their weakness and how it impacts our relationship. So that you'll be able to know which partner, who you are and the partner that you are choosing. So that how you able to manage it and make things and make your life what's meaningful. This is Counselor Perfect. I'm on social media. Facebook, Perfect Counsels Network. Please see it, check on it and like it, like it for us. We want us to go. And I have Counselors Canna. It's a group of counselors that we discuss issues. We help people to have the best in their lives. It's on Facebook too. Counselors Canna, please join us at the counselor's corner i'm on instagram that is counselor underscore perfect please follow me on ig follow me on ig and i'm on twitter
counselor perfect one so that one to tweet at me let us go and if you need a facilitator for an event call me if you need an mc call me if you need a counselor somebody to talk to somebody to listen to you somebody to get advice from a counselor and aid from counselor perfect we are just a call away our number is 0243 and thank you all for helping me joining perfect councils network as we climb a immense time to pay the lot that is our health work the pictures on social media it was amazing Thank you. Next year, farmers, they we are doing it. So get your boots and caps ready. We are going up the hill from our Yemensa to Pediasolot. Have a good night's sleep. And Perfect Councils Network, Councillor Perfect, I love you. Like this and you push me to the top on the wind. Have a good night's sleep. Mm. Bye. See you next Saturday.